Hey chatters. So today I want to go over a new version of Professor Synapse called Synapse TTI, which stands for text to image. It's a similar idea to the normal Professor Synapse, which is more focused on aligning with what you want to do and then creating and summoning an agent to help you do that thing. Similar idea, except this time it's to help you out with text to image services, the most popular of which right now is probably Midjourney. I prefer Leonardo AI. I'm going to show you some with that. And I know the new Dolly is coming out soon. So this will probably even be better once you have access to Dolly 3 and can use this to help you create your images. So I don't know, expect a new version of that coming out when we get Dolly, which I think things move so fast. So first, we're going to walk through the prompt together, and then I'm going to show you an example of uh, how you could use it. And then we're going to look at some images that it generated so you can see how it actually worked, as well as to help you think through your workflow uh, around these images. So let's go through the prompt first. So this is almost exactly the same as the original professor. You're a conductor of expert artistic agents, though, this time. Your job is to support the user in creating a text to image prompt, then calling upon expert agent perfectly suited to the task by initializing Synapse TTI. So you'll see here we have the same like prompt libs fill in the blank. We have our emoji, expert in text image prompting, no context based on what you said to the professor. Here's my recommended prompt. So you don't have to necessarily pick this apart too much. But this is based actually on Leonardo AI's best practices in terms of formatting your image prompt. So it just has the image type, some examples, the subject, the action, blah, 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 blah. And of course, you can, if you want, try editing this part to fit other text image tools. But generally, this is going to work with most. It gets most of the things. And just so you have some variety, we have it doing three different prompts. So it's just, you know, this same thing, a second time, a third time. The rest of this stuff, not super important. It's just, you know, collect the stuff, initialize Synapse TTI, support the user. We just really have one actual command for now, which is to remix. So if you don't like any of the images prompts that it creates, it'll just create a few more for you and just some rules. And again, you can add whatever rules you want, but two here that I think uh, are important is just incredibly and artistically detailed. And this is just a trick we know about from some of the research, which is that if you repeat a word in your image prompts, it's going to have more focus on that in the eventual image. So repeating words and just giving an example, very, 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 or dog, dog, dog. So yeah, here we go. Ha ha, artistic realm beckons us. Gotta love the professor. And just asking me, what do I want? It has some suggestions here. So I just finished up a new episode of uh, History AI. So I wanted an image for that. So I said, I need an image for my podcast that goes over the history of the AI Dartmouth conference in 1956. So here it goes. It's going to ask me some questions. Now, for you lazy people out there, I feel you, okay? I totally feel you. And so all you got to do here, if you're like, I don't care, I just want you to do it, just tell it that. Say, I don't care, I trust you, just create the things. And it'll do that. But the idea here is that maybe you do have a vision in mind. Maybe you want specific elements. And the idea here is that it is going to give you some ideas. Do you want to be more intellectual, nostalgic, just to get those things going? So it's totally up to you. But I would recommend, again, per usual, give some of your own flair. Uh, that's the way to do it. Okay, so now it's like, okay, I think I got it. Let's proceed. Say so you got this. Marvelous. And here we go. Expert in text image, Dartmouth conference, here are my recommended prompts. And here we have a few prompts. And these look pretty good. So of these ones that they did, I actually started with this one, a sketch of a dreamy cloudscape, just to test it out. So let's, let's go look at what it came up with. So here we go. We got our, our cloudy computers. We, I, and I did a few of these. And this is typically how my workflow goes, is I'll take a prompt. And you'll see here, you know, I use the dream shaper with sketch color because that's what it said. This first one for the other one, I did photoreal cinematic. 
again, pretty cool. And then we did one, I added a couple things. I, I put in actual names because I wanted people in it. Again, I just did photo real. And so these gave me a few options, but honestly, I didn't, re I wasn't really feeling these, which is okay. So instead I moved to this first prompt, which was an illustration of some of these figures, chalkboard equations, touch of steampunk. So then I tried this one. And similarly, what I do is I put that in and I do a few different models. I do photo real. I do illustration, illustration with Leonardo Diffusion versus Dream Shaper. And these are pretty good. I think I eventually ended up with maybe this one. I like that. These guys look pretty much all the same. A uh, bunch of white guys around a table, classic 50s. So that's, that's pretty much it. I'll keep this video quick for you all. But the idea here, again, is just that you have Professor Synapse helping you call upon an agent to give you some text to image prompts. You can be as specific or unspecific as you like. And then you really want to test these out. Don't all because you don't get it the first time. This is your starting point. You can add different elements that you prefer. Once you see it, you can play around with it. And, and I would highly recommend, you know, don't just do one prompt with one model, with one type. Do a few and see, see which one comes out the best and generate them all sort of at the same time. So I hope, that, I hope that's helpful to you all in your image creation journey. And let me know how the prompt works. It's on the GitHub, which I'll have in the description. I'd love for people to play around and see how you can improve it.